Hi, I'm Bumble, and I have been playing virtual reality games on the HTC Vive headset for the better part of the past month. There's a ton of games out there for the Vive right now, and I have played the majority of them. Uh, it's been a blast, but it has not been cheap. Uh, the average price for these early HTC Vive games is about $20, and for that $20, you're not necessarily going to get a great amount of content for some of these games. Some of the games will last you 30 minutes or two hours, and that's an entire playthrough of the game. Uh, so I wanted to make this video to talk about what I feel are the top four games on the Vive that give you the most value for your money. These are games that have a ton of replayability. They're also really fun. They use the new VR mechanics in great ways. I'm talking about the aiming and the movement. And uh, they also all give you a nice light cardio workout, so that also keeps you coming back because it's very satisfying to play these games. So I'm just going to jump right into it and start talk talking about the first game, and that is a game called Hollow Point, which is a $8 game, and it's a kind of a bow and arrow archery simulator game where you're put inside the, essentially it's the Matrix training dojo where Morpheus and Neo do kung fu battles. So you're in this dojo, you have a bow and arrow and these holographic cubes keep spawning and you need to shoot them and every time you shoot them they're going to explode and shoot little shards back at you which you have to dodge in your real space with using room scale. The farther you get, the more intense it gets. New enemies will start spawning, there's bosses, and uh, it's really fun, and it's a great workout, and it really shows you what's possible with VR combat. I mean, there's some things about this game that can't really just be displayed on the screen. For example, when you pull the bowstring back, you feel this awesome haptic feedback on both controllers, so they'll vibrate, and it really does feel like you're pulling a bowstring taut. It's little things that make it super immersive and super fun, and honestly, I keep coming back to this game constantly. I play all these different virtual reality games, but this one, honestly, is one of my favorites, and for $8, that's probably some of the best value you can get outside of some of the great free-to-play games on the Vive. So the second game I want to talk about is Hover Junkers. Now this is the most expensive game out of these four. This one's $35 but it's also the only competitive multiplayer game on the Vive right now, at least that I know of, and definitely the most popular one. So the setting of Hover Junkers is this uh, post-apocalyptic future where everyone rides around on hovercrafts which they reinforce with junk and they all want to kill each other with shotguns and pistols. So basically you choose your craft, there's a bunch of different hovercrafts you can ride like in a in an old dilapidated bus or in a craft made out of a dumpster. It's pretty awesome. You get on there, you can move junk around to the sides to create little cover for you, and then you hold a gun in either one hand or both hands, and uh, you, you drive your craft around using your hand with one of the controllers, and you hide behind the cover and you shoot at your enemies. And it's really fun, it's really addictive, and it has a lot of great features that some of the other VR games don't have. It has a uh, local voice chat so you can chat with everybody in your match it has twitch chat integration which is awesome and uh... yeah it's just a really fun game it has two game modes right now there's team deathmatch and there's free-for-all i prefer the free-for-all mode but a lot of people do love team deathmatch especially because of a feature where you can have one of your friends get onto your craft so you can have two people on a craft one person drives it around and the other person focuses on dual wielding guns and shooting them off so yeah, that's a great game. 35 bucks is a little steep, but if you're into competitive multiplayer games, this one is a must have for the Vive. And this is just another one of those games that I keep coming back to because it's so fun and so addictive. Uh, the third game on my list is gonna be Space Pirate Trainer. Space Pirate Trainer was my favorite game on the Vive for a long time and I've been playing it pretty much since day one, I think. It's a uh, $15 game where you stand in a space station and you have two guns with a variety of different modes so you can do like regular slug mode where you're shooting actual bullets or you can do single shot lasers, burst fire lasers, semi-automatic lasers, charge shots or just like a straight up laser beam and you can choose different modes for each gun so you can do different combos and then these drones will come out and they will attack you 
and they'll shoot bullets at you and you have to dodge out of the way and when you do dodge it activates bullet time and everything goes all slow so it sounds pretty simple right it's just these training drones come at you you shoot them out of the sky they shoot bullets at you you dodge and that's pretty much the whole game it's a wave based game so it gets more and more hard as you go on but it's incredibly addictive and I think it is probably the best game for kind of understanding the new mechanics of VR the new combat mechanics the new movement mechanics because as you play this game you start to realize whoa I can actually be shooting at two different targets even though I'm not looking at them or I can be holding my shield behind my back even though I can't see it and I'm blocking bullets that are coming behind my back without looking and uh, it really trains up your VR spatial awareness and all sorts of stuff it's just a really fun game to play and as you play it you're just gonna feel yourself getting better at virtual reality in general and that's a great feeling and it's also a nice little workout because it does have you bobbing and weaving and moving around a lot so definitely recommend it for fifteen dollars it's a great buy it's an early access game so there's a lot more content coming for it there's gonna be bosses and items and all sorts of stuff but even as it is even if there was no more content coming I would still recommend this game and now the final game that I want to talk about is Audio Shield. And if you've kept up with the vibe, you've probably heard of this game because everyone just raves about it constantly. It's a $20 game. It's made by the developers of Audio Surf. And I never really got into Audio Surf. I played it, it was okay. Audio Shield is amazing. It's a totally different experience in VR. So you have these two shields and you stand there and you use them to block or even to just punch these little balls that come at you. And the balls are coordinated with the beats of whatever song you've chosen. And you can choose from songs that other players have put on the game. There's a ton of songs that you can just stream from the game. Or you can choose any of your local music, which is amazing because you can pretty much play any song that you want. And uh, that gives it essentially infinite replay value if you're at all into music. So it's just a really fun game. Like all these other games, it does give you a nice light cardio workout. It's really satisfying and it's one of these games where it's really hard to convey just how satisfying and fun it is to play on a flat screen with a video. But trust me, when you get in this game and you're, you're really like playing the music, when you play your favorite song, it's like a completely different experience because usually when you listen to music, you're not really just focused 100% on the music, right? You're kind of listening to music and doing something else. But in this game, you are actually playing the song. You're 100% into your song, and when the beats sync up properly, oh, it's one of the most amazing, fun gaming experiences I have ever experienced. And I do play this game on a daily basis because I just cannot get enough of it. So definitely recommend it, $20 well spent. So those are the four games that I feel like are the very best value on the Vive. Uh, if you buy these games, I'm sure you will have fun with them. If not, there's always Steam's refund policy, so I highly recommend that you check these games out. Thanks for watching this video. If you're into VR, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I pump out a ton of VR videos. I'm trying to put out a new VR video every day. And thank you so much for watching, and have a great time in VR whenever it arrives. Thanks a lot.